I wanna give you a quick map of every Google Workspace product you may use in your business, you may not need, but at least you'll know the map of what's out there and available for small business owners subscribe to Workspace. Gmail I don't think needs much explanation, but if you've switched to the Google Workspace version, well, you get to use your own domain name. And it looks no different on the emails that you send or receive to anyone in your contacts, except you're using your business account. And the cool thing about that is it means that you've got full control as a business domain and you're able to add other users like staff in your business all under your own admin panel. My favorite features of Gmail are all of the AI tools that Google's added like Smart Compose, Smart Reply, and even the ability to give you a little nudge if you've sent an email and need to follow up with someone. Google Meet is like Zoom, but better. It allows you to do all your meetings online. You don't have to download any apps. And the great thing about Meet is when you record and or transcribe a meeting online, yes, it can transcribe your meetings for you. It will automatically save those recordings into your Google Drive for you, meaning that you don't have to bother with downloading, uploading, rendering, or saving files after a meeting. It just automatically plonks them straight in your drive when you're done. Love it. Google Chat is your go-to instant messaging tool in the Google world, but it's smarter than using Messenger or WhatsApp or even Slack for your business because those tools can quickly bleed into the personal space of your staff members. But you also end up paying double if you're using something like Slack where you could just use the Google tool. Google Chat also has some pretty cool integrations, meaning that if you're chatting someone and you wanna quickly jump on a meeting, you can click one button and drop a Google Meet into there. I like that feature because it means that we've got everything in one place. And Google Chat also integrates with a lot of other tools that we use like Asana, meaning that if I post a time Task into a group chat, I'm automatically going to get rich data read straight back to me from within Google Chat. Google Calendar, again, pretty straightforward if you've come from the Gmail world, but when you're using a workspace account, well, it gives you all the features you'd expect from a business calendar. You can set things like your working location, your working hours, and when your colleagues want to schedule time with you, they can see all of those things. If you set yourself as out of the office, well, Google's going to let your team know across all of the other apps that you're out of the office. And I love these features because in one ecosystem, everything's talking to each other and it's giving you those little tips of productivity. But a little tip for pro users with Calendar, well, if you use the Google admin panel to set up a group, well, then you can invite groups of staff rather than staff individually to your Calendar events. And anytime you add a new staff member to that group, it's automatically going to invite them to any recurring meeting that the group has been invited to. Very cool stuff. Google Drive should be nothing new. They ripped off Dropbox. It puts your files on the cloud and on your computer. But if you're a business, well, you get some extra features inside of Google Workspace. Now, Google have let you create shared drives. Now, they're not the same as any shared folder inside of your My Drive. No, a shared drive is a company-owned file. And what that means is you either from your staff or from someone outside your company have the ability to control who puts files into those folders and who deletes them as well. Now, it means that if you've got a contractor working for your business, they can place a file into the shared drive. But as soon as that file goes in, it becomes company owned. And what that means is you don't run the risk of someone accidentally deleting files that you're working with just because they're the owner of that file. Great feature for Google Drive exclusive to Google Workspace. Docs, Sheets, and Slides. Now, these are the workspace versions of Google's document processing. So that means that you get the equivalent of a Word editor, the equivalent of Excel, and the equivalent of PowerPoint in the Google world. They all run online in the browser. They do have offline modes as well, but primarily you're gonna be working online because the best features about these are the collaboration and real-time editing. Now, I love these because Google have built their AI features into each one of the documents, meaning that not only do you have the benefit of going through a revision history and seeing every single change to every single document, you also have the cool online collaborative feature of suggested edits, meaning that someone can suggest changes to a document, but not actually commit them until you approve them. Well, no, Google have added their AI to the documents as well with a tool called Duet, which lets you create documents from scratch or the Insights tool inside of Google Sheets, which allows you to automatically choose the best graph for a set of data. You can also do things like ask a question in natural language and have Google automatically give you an answer from your spreadsheet. We're truly living in a futuristic digital age where I'm effectively having a conversation with my spreadsheet and it's just talking relevant data back to me. Next up is Google Forms, and these are great for surveys or collecting any other kind of structured information I really love these because you can connect them to a spreadsheet for further data analysis. And Google Forms are very versatile. You can brand them, you can share them with wherever you want, and there's no limits or costs or freemium model that you might find if you're using a third-party form service. 
If you don't want to go to the trouble of creating pretty forms to visualize your data from your responses, well, Google Forms does a pretty good job of giving you that straight out of the box. And so I love this for gathering data both from our team internally and also from our customers. Google Sites is an intranet and almost a web builder product. Now you can create a website with Google Sites and you can publish that site publicly, but it's probably not gonna be the best looking website you've ever seen. If you've got absolutely nothing else, you might choose to use that as an option, but where Google Sites really shines is for an internal intranet. Now that's a private site that you can use to store systems, processes, documentation, kind of like an online operations manual for your business. And we use Google Sites to do this internally inside our company and have for many years. Google Keep is a way of storing notes inside your Google account. And think of it like a more Googly version of Evernote. You can store images, you can store text, you can even link out to files as well. And the great thing about Google Keep is it's all searchable. If you snap a photo of something, it's automatically gonna do optical character recognition on that photo. And you can search for text within an image that you've uploaded into Google Keep. There's even a basic reminder system that integrates with Google Calendar as well. Now, if you're still using Evernote or just Apple Notes on your phone, it might be time to make the switch to Google Keep. Google Cloud Search is a tool exclusive to Google Workspace. You can't get access to this on Gmail as it's a business-only tool. And what this does is search your whole Google account for anything that might relate to the search terms that you type in. Now, usually when we're searching for something, if it's an email, we'll go and look in our Gmail. If it's a file, we'll go and look in a Google Drive. Well, Cloud Search searches our whole Google account. And the great thing about this is if you've got data, but you're not quite sure what format it's in or how you received it, or you know maybe you saved an email attachment into your drive somewhere, but you don't quite remember exactly when or exactly who it was from, well, Cloud Search has some advanced tools that allow you to file files really easily. And the great thing is because it's a Google tool, it has visibility into your whole Google account. Check it out, cloudsearch.google.com. Okay, so now we come to the admin panel. This is the administration section. If you're a business owner or an IT manager, here's where you'll be working with the admin side of your Google account. We access the admin panel via admin.google.com. And if you've been designated an administrator of the account, that gives us access to the features of all of the admin tools. Chrome policies let us manage Chrome-based devices or operating systems that are running a Chrome browser. So if you've got a Chromebook or a Chromebox, well, you can manage the whole ecosystem. You're able to change user settings and you can even manage device settings if you add an additional Chrome management license. Now you can also manage for free any machine that's connected to your Google account with a Chrome browser. So if you have a user that signed in with their business Google account, one of your staff members perhaps, they can have policies applied to their individual Chrome browser. What might you want to use that for? Maybe you want to have a set of company bookmarks so that everyone can see the same bookmarks in their browser. Maybe you want to set the homepage to the company website or to the internet that you've just created in Google Sites. Well, you can do these with a Chrome policies. If everyone needs to access one of your plugins that you want to have the whole team using, well, you can push that down as a dedicated app on the forced install apps list. And it means that when someone signs in with a business account, they're automatically going to receive each one of those policies. Next up is Google Vault. And this is technically an e-discovery service, meaning that it's used to retain data and then search and access data when you need to get back to it. It's not really a backup. A backup is more taking snapshots at certain points in time to be able to restore them. A vault just keeps a carbon copy of everything in a secure location. Now, what's this useful for? Well, if you're a consulting business, a legal firm, or maybe you're giving financial advice, you want to make sure that every single email in and out of your business is recorded and kept safe somewhere. Well, Vault does that. Now, the great thing about Google Vault is it lets you do a search right across every mailbox and every file inside your business and it will allow you to generate reports on that data. If you're going through a business merge or a demerge, you may be required to provide these kind of informations for due diligence. If you're being subpoenaed for a court case, you may need to provide company information to external parties and Google Vault allows you to do all of these things. Check it out at ediscovery.google.com from your workspace account. Finally, we come to insights and don't disregard these because they are pretty darn cool and give you a lot of visibility into your business. Again, in the admin panel is how we access them and they will give you a snapshot of what your users are up to, how much storage is being consumed. And if you need to delve into the logs to see if a malicious user has taken action either in your staff or maybe someone outside your business, well, you can find all of that inside of insights. This is a great tool for auditing and logging and finding out what's going on in your Google account, as well as seeing things like who's adopting your Google applications that you're rolling out, who's sending the most emails or even who's consuming the most file storage. 
very useful tools. Thanks for listening. If you'd like to know more, our channel is dedicated to Google Workspace and other small business technology tools. There's playlists and plenty for you to learn along the way on our channel. Go ahead and check it out and I'll see you in the next one.